When I was a kid, I loved weapons. I suppose I still do. I used to spend my days in the library reading up about firearms and medieval warfare. I didn't care what the weapon, I loved reading about them and using them. I used to hang out with friends practicing archery in the backyard. We used to make our own swords and armor and have mock battles in the vacant block next door. Well, mock battles. They were real battles, just not to the death. I still have the scars to prove it. My friend learned how to make chain mail and other armor on his dad's forge. He still makes weapons to this day. We'd test out the armor using different weapons to see what was effective and what wasn't. But my favorite weapon by far was the throwing knife. That's not me suggesting they're a good weapon, just my favorite. I'll get to that soon. I know this American guy who lives in Australia. He's been here for a few years now, and generally speaking, he likes Australia. But there's one thing that really gets his goat. Although self-defense is legal in Australia, the Australian government have essentially made it impossible in practice, at least not with weapons. You see, using a weapon in self-defense is essentially illegal here in Australia. He comes from a constitutional carry state, Arizona, I believe, and he legally carried a concealed pistol back home, as did many of his friends. They all belonged to the local gun club, and I have no doubts that they were highly trained and treated their weapons with respect. There's no doubt he enjoyed his right to bear arms to protect himself and his family. That said, he kind of understands that Australia doesn't allow guns, well, not as a defensive tool, but what he can't understand is that pretty much all defensive tools are illegal. Stun guns, tasers, they're illegal. Knives, of course, cannot be carried defensively. But the one that he has the most gripes about is that pepper spray and the like are illegal. He thinks that's just bordering on criminal, that we allow the government to disarm us to such an extent. Look, I'm not here to convince you either way. I'm just telling you what some people think. His argument is pretty simple. Weapons laws only serve to disarm innocent people. Obviously, criminals have their own code of ethics, and by their very nature, that's why they're called criminals, ignore any laws that don't suit them. Criminals, yes, even here in Australia, have no qualms carrying a knife or a pistol or anything else. To this day, innocent people still get shot by law-ignoring criminals. Yes, I know the opposite argument, less guns means less gun deaths. True, but my American colleague's retort is that most gun deaths are not homicides, they're suicides, and obviously you don't need a gun to do that. Not to mention that suicide rates are through the roof in Australia as the cost of living crisis bites. Did the gun bans prevent those deaths? Obviously not. Anyway, my colleague's main point is that gun bans aren't here to protect civilians. They're here to protect the government. If a person with a knife charges a police officer, that police officer can legally defend themselves using their state-issued firearm. If you did the same, even if you were highly trained and all the rest of it, you would be arrested for unlawfully using a firearm. So what does the Queensland Police have to say on the matter? On their personal safety page, they state, we all have the right to be safe. Some Americans might laugh out loud, seeing that even pepper spray is forbidden. This is their safer living document, I'll put the link below, telling you strategies to maximize your safety and enhance your well-being. On page five, they state, your most effective weapons are your personal judgment and your commitment to preserving your safety. They also give you some potential responses to a physical attack, including escaping, negotiating, complying, screaming, handing over your property, calling the police, with the last one being physical self-defense. On page six, they talk about self-defense. In Queensland, you have the right to physically defend yourself with reasonable force, provided the force is authorized, justified, or excused by law. The law does not allow you to carry anything that can be described as an offensive weapon. This includes mace or spray dyes or items that have been especially adapted, such as a sharpened comb or knife carried for the purpose of self-defense. They don't even mention firearms because they know we're all resigned to the fact that we can't use them. Instead, they recommend to undertake martial arts training and to use your survival instinct. Look, I'm all for martial arts, but when somebody is coming at you with a knife, or heaven forbid a pistol, martial arts is next to useless. I know, I've trained against knife attack. 
Despite what you see in the movies, there's not much you can do except run, or if you're cornered, perhaps you can use an improvised weapon like a chair. So anyway, my favourite weapon as a youngster was a throwing knife. My uncle happened to gift me a couple. I used to practice throwing them into a tree out the backyard. I became quite good at it. However, I quickly realised that they're simply not a very good weapon for reasons I'll explain now. 1. You're disarming yourself, and potentially arming your opponent. Unless you have a whole bandolier of these things, like the knife thrower in the movie Desperado, throwing your weapon away is usually not a good idea. 2. Stopping power, or lack thereof. A throwing knife is only a light weapon. The purpose of a weapon is to stop your attacker, to render them incapable of hurting you anymore. Weapons such as pepper spray do this by inflicting severe pain and blindness. Swords, for example, inflict enough physical damage to make further attacks impossible. Lighter projectiles, such as bullets, rely on extreme velocities. A 9mm cartridge, for example, has a muzzle velocity of around 350 to 400 metres per second. A fastball in cricket, or baseball, is around one-tenth that speed at 40 metres per second. Throwing knives, on the other hand, in reality, are slow at around 15 metres per second. They're light, and consequently have negligible stopping power. 3. Accuracy, or lack thereof. Bullets, spears, arrows, darts, for example the Roman plumbata, are all designed to be aerodynamic. They travel head first. Roman soldiers were able to effectively throw their darts up to 80 metres away, potentially severely wounding their enemies. Throwing knives, on the other hand, tumble when they are thrown, creating relatively large amounts of wind resistance. Whatever little velocity they had at the start of the throw is quickly lost, making them next to useless at long range. The end-over-end -end spin also means that a knife spends very little time pointing towards its target. Even a talented knife thrower is more likely to hit with the side or the butt of the knife during combat, especially when the target is moving. I became good at throwing knives, at trees, but the moment I tried to throw them at moving targets, I quickly realised they were not very good practical weapons. Combine that with the knife's limited range, light weight, not to mention that you're throwing your weapon away, you would probably be better off walking up to the bad guy and stabbing him with it. Look, I still love throwing knives. I think they're a cool weapon. They require skill, they require a lot of practice, but in reality, you're pretty much better off with any other weapon. Even with years of training, I would suggest that throwing a knife is still slightly less effective for self-defense than, say, throwing a nice-sized rock. Rocks are cheaper, heavier, and often more aerodynamic. Some Americans feel sorry for us here in Australia because they think that the government have taken away all our weapons. But that's simply not true. You can buy a nice hatchet at Aldi this week, for example. You can buy weapons, you're just not allowed to use them as weapons unless you want to go to prison. Anyway, that's my comments on knife throwing and other weapons in Australia. What's your favourite weapon? And can you legally carry it? Mm.